So it's an early start today because I've only got a few hours to be able to work on the wall art. So it's a quick walk with the dogs over on the uh, parkland and uh, get started because this afternoon I take a little bit of time off. Tiffany is doing a wreath making workshop and obviously only a few days till Christmas so uh, it'll be nice to go and do a bit of crafting with Tiffany over in the barn and uh, have a bit of fun. So, but it does mean that I've got a crack on this morning with the wall. So day one was getting as much texture on the wall as I could with my tape and jointing compound and my different tools, just making different shapes and then putting the string and the rope on there with my gesso and just trying to build the wall up with layers of different shapes and materials to make it look interesting. Day two was obviously the last bit of the texture, which was the tissue paper. And I love this bit. It just looks like veins coming out. It, I just think it's amazing, the texture that a bit of tissue paper can do to a wall. And then obviously yesterday we finished up with just painting over it with a white just to get me back to a blank canvas, really, to start getting the colour on there. And then today is all about getting the base colour on there, the different colours. I, I want blues and greens to make my base colour, and then I'll start building it from there. I've got so many different blues and greens and I'm really not sure how the colour's going to come out eventually until I really start it. I think the hardest part is really starting to get the colours on there and just seeing how they work out. It's just such a big area. And yeah, it's really difficult. It really is, considering I've never done it before. Um, but yeah, I just, I just hope it works out. So I need to get back. It's a quick walk for the dogs today. They love it out here. They love just running around, playing, fighting. Um, but yeah, get back, get some colour on the walls and, um, and then step away from it for, this, for the afternoon. We're going to do some reef making. You can come with me and uh, see how we get on with that. And then tomorrow, come back and start putting even more colours and layers on it. I just, it's taken a long time now and we're really holding Ted up. Every day that I spend on the wall, he can't get on with his work in the bathroom because obviously I've got the sca uh, scaffold tower up. So uh, yeah, I need to get on with it, get it, get it finished, and then he can continue with his little bit. Anyway, let's get back and get started.
so I've done as much as I can for one day and it's time for me to step away now and let it dry completely so I can come back tomorrow and get all of the rest of the shading on there. And it gives Ted chance to get into the bathroom to do some of his woodwork and start planning the shelving situation. But first of all, he needs to find some wood to be able to do it. Look at that. Oh, big flat piece. Um, I'm in the back of me uh, where I keep little bits of wood, well, quite a lot of it actually. Um, trying to find something for the shelf for the top of the little cupboard. <laughs> And it's just a case of finding something that's, you know, that's long enough, but it's not wide enough. Baby, what about these bits here? Yeah, no, I've, that's what I've been looking at. They're not good enough. Well, I can, I can join them together, but again, I've got to join them together. These are parts of. You see. Uh, well, it's all right. That's not. That's not. That's not too. You know, they, they go together quite nicely. But I don't think they're, they're wide enough that way. They're definitely not long enough. I need it to be 58 long. So I need to joint a lot of them, to, you know, quite a few of them together. That's, that's how beautiful the grain is, look. Can you see that? How oh, gorgeous yeah. is that? These would probably work fantastically well for the shelves. all this wood over here baby this um is i do believe it's oak um and it's lats it's uh, roof lats roof yeah roof battens so we won't have to buy any battens when we do the roof yeah we will oh okay because they're not big enough okay they're big enough for the little slates uh on the other roof uh, but they're not big enough for um you know there's a fair few of them there as you see underneath there's a great pile of them underneath there and i've always wanted to do something with them most of them are absolutely bent to whatever what do you want to just um just walk over there and just tell us about um the beds that you're collecting well is it as a hobby well because <laughs> it seems that way so i've got this is the old bed that came out of the tent there's a bed up the top there there's two more in there two more in there that i recently collected um and then there's i don't know where the other ones went oh they're over there aren't they yeah yeah so there's um seven in total now eight um because what people do is they say oh do you want some beds and um a certain person can't say no but it's not a certain person it's it's both of us we both of us don't say no because one it's if you can't use them as a bed you can use the wood and the wood's bone dry and it's it wants to be something it knows it's got to be something else rather than a and a bed or rather than a piece of wood or rather than a tree so um we collect them to make things out of and that's the that's the that's the hope is that we will eventually get round to making and and one of the things that we are going to make probably is is because they're not big enough to be used as beds they they they're single beds or large large single beds could be four foot but they're not good enough for modern living you know we need bigger beds than that so we could try and maybe piece them together and make one big bed um or what we what we like the idea of is making um settles uh so just two seater seats <laughs> two seater seats um because that'll be that'll be really nice uh, i think that'll be great maybe when we do apartment four yeah could you not make the day beds out of them as well could i not make the day beds out yeah of them? day beds have i shown you what i actually want in there i don't think no, i have actually no. well that's we'll have to show that's you that's for another story let's go and have a look down here shall we down where down where they all the beds yeah, there's somebody up there the 
Yeah, so there's two beds there. You see, so there's, look, there's chunks there, but they're not thick. They're only thin. You see, this is thick. This is nice and thick. This might go together, but I'm going to have to stick a load of... Well, it's not so bad. Uh. Baby, you... What? What about that bit there? No, it's not thick. It's not wide enough. No. I don't know. How wide do you want it? What's, what's all that over there? It's all over Look, where? Look, over there. The back that's, there. That's all boards and shit. What is this? I love this. Yeah, that come off the, the um, arm wire that we picked up of JP. Oh. Yeah, it's broken either side, but it's, you know, it's, it's there for a bed cam if be in it. Yeah, this is the, this assembly is, is a, um, a big wardrobe that we got from our neighbours. It's eight feet high and it's the most beautiful piece of furniture, but I doubt we could ever use it as a piece of furniture. Um, and, you know, I'd rather use it as a wood. I'd rather use it for the wood. Uh, because, as we know, um, you can spend little, a little amount of money on, a, on a, an armoire in, uh, in one of the, uh, the Brocons. And we put, picked one up, you know, our wardrobe in there. What was that? 36 euros. And it's beautiful and it has a style to it and this is lovely but it's massive and it's it wasn't in great condition but it is so usable all of this stuff here is what I'm gonna make um, the bits in the bathroom but also somebody's kitchen and it's eventually. free and it's absolutely gratis so is there anything here you think you might be able I to think, use? Um, we might. I love the, when this, when it's light in here, when this window here gets the, the sunlight in it, because it, it's horrible. It's really, it's, re it's really quite scary in here sometimes when it's dark. Um, but when the light's in here, it gives you a, a nice sense of part of the rest of the building. Um, yeah, there's probably something here that I could use. This is again a side of a bed, and it's a lovely bit of wood. But... Well, I think it's time we leave Ted to his wood pile and head over to Tiffany's for a wreath making workshop. So, while I'm waiting for my uh, background painting to uh, dry out, I thought I'd take a bit of time out. I'm off now over to Tiffany's to do a little bit of wreath making. Christmas is just around the corner and um, Tiffany does his workshop. So uh, yeah, a bit of time out and it's nice to go and visit some other people. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a nice afternoon. Now if you're being observant on our route over to Tiffany's, you may notice that some of the village names have been taken off, flipped upside down and put back on again. This is actually a campaign by the farmers. It's to draw attention to what they say is their increasingly precarious way of life. And it started with a protest in the Southern Tarn Department in November, and it's now spread all over the country. So everywhere you go, especially in rural France, you'll see all of the roadside names have been flipped upside down. I think it's a brilliant way of doing a protest. Nobody gets hurt.
What an amazing way to spend the afternoon with friends. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Tiffany. You may recognise Tiffany. She's got her own channel, Live Rural France. And you may have recognised Joe as well from Joe and Steve's channel of France and England, Will We Succeed? I will put a link to the two channels in the description in case you want to pop over and have a look. Anyway, the last thing to do is to hang up my wreath on the door. My first Christmas decoration. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget, like, subscribe and press the notification bell. We'll see you all again tomorrow for another day of the wall art.